let's talk about India's interests. India does not take part in Western sanctions against Russia, but has increased its imports from Russia uh, five times since the war began. Uh, by this, are you not helping Moscow? Are you not financing Russia's war? You know, Europe imported in the same period six times the energy which India did. So but, if, but, yes, if but, somebody but Europe, is, but Europe uh, decreased its imports a lot and dramatically since well, the war started, you multiplied yours. No, essentially, if it is a matter of principle, why didn't Europe cut on the first day? Why didn't we see on 25th of February a complete cutoff of energy imports from Russia? But you can't say you can't say it's my principle, but by the way, I will do it by my timing. Okay, but isn't it the difference uh, between decreasing your imports but still making sure that uh, Europe is not freezing uh, to death in the winter, or just increasing uh, your imports by five times? No, uh, Europe has managed uh, to uh, to reduce its imports while doing it in a manner in which it is comfortable for Europe. No, comfortable. If that, uh, comfortable, comfortable, it's may, manageable. Maybe a, comfortable no, it's manageable. may be a little bit of an uh, it's overstatement. Manageable. Now, if at 60,000 euros or whatever is your per capita income, you are so caring about your population, I have a population at $2,000. I also need energy. I don't have, I'm not in a position to pay high prices. The price of oil has doubled. So, and what Europe is doing is also moving into the Middle East and diverting production out of the Middle East into Europe and raising prices. So European actions actually are putting pressure on the global oil markets and on my uh, imports as well. So uh, I think it's something which, if European political leadership understandably would like to soften the impact on their population, I think it's a privilege they should extend to other political leaderships as well. Mm -hmm.